Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Let's see the next name reaction that is benzoin condensation. Let's see the statement. According to the statement, self condensation of aromatic aldehydes in presence of cyanide ions as a catalyst to form alpha hydroxy ketones, commonly called as benzoin. So what the statement is saying, here we are taking aromatic aldehydes, aromatic aldehydes are involving in the self condensation by using the catalyst called as what, cyanide catalyst, it can produce as the corresponding alpha hydroxy ketone that is commonly called as benzoin. Already we had heard the word called as acyloin. It is also alpha hydroxy ketone. Then what is the difference between the acyloin and benzoin? In case of the acyloin, here the aldehyde is going to be aliphatic one. But in case of benzoin, the aldehyde is aromatic one. This is the simple differentiation we need to understand. Okay, let's see the general equation. In the general equation, what we have taken? Two moles of the aromatic aldehyde. Here the condition is that what? The aromatic aldehyde should not contain any kind of alpha CH protons. Okay. These are going to be involving in the self-condensation reaction in presence of what? Cyanide catalyst. It can produce as alpha hydroxy ketone. See this one. This is the ketonic functional group with respect to C double bond. Oh, this is alpha position. The alpha position is containing what? OH group or not? That's why it is commonly called as what? Alpha hydroxy ketone. Since we are observing the phenyl rings in the alpha hydroxy ketone, that's why it is commonly called as benzoin. If the phenyl groups are replaced with some aliphatic groups, then the compound is commonly called as acyloin. Already we had a discussion on the acyloin condensation. That is the first named reaction which we had discussed. Okay. Let's see the mechanism. The mechanism is very very simple. Here the catalyst is what? Cyanide ion. See this Cn minus. It means that what? It is going to be act as a beautiful nucleophile. The nucleophile is going to attack at the carbonyl carbon of the aldehydes. See this? The cyanide ion is going to attack at the carbonyl carbon of your aldehyde. Thereby what is happening? These pi bonding electrons move towards the oxygen. Thereby oxygen will take minus charge. A carbon CN bond will be formed in the first step. See this? pH, CCN and O minus. Here the second step is very very important step. Here you need to remember one thing. The transfer of H plus ion takes place from the carbon to O minus. See this one? O minus and H plus to produce OH and carbon is going to get what? Minus charge. It means that what? We have created carbane ion. Then what is the purpose of the creation of this particular carbane ion? See this one. To this carbon, an electron withdrawing group is attached or not? If you create a carbane ion, what happens? The carbane ion is going to be stabilized by the electron withdrawing group. That is the first case. The second case is what? We need to form carbon-carbon single bond or not? So in order to form the carbon-carbon single bond, we should have a negative charge on the carbon. The electron withdrawing group is going to stabilize this particular carbon ion. Now what happens? This carbon ion is going to attack at the carbonyl carbon of the second aromatic aldehyde. This is the first aromatic aldehyde. This one is second aromatic aldehyde. Thereby what happens? The pi bonding electrons move towards the oxygen. The oxygen will take the minus charge. See this? pH, COH, CN, CO minus pH. At this particular point, what is happening? Exchange of H plus ion takes place between two oxygen atoms. See this one? From this oxygen, what is happening? We are removing the H plus ion. The H plus ion move towards this particular O minus. Thereby what is happening? We are creating minus charge at this particular oxygen. So 
pH CO minus Cl COH H pH. So in the final step, what happens? The O minus is forming a C double bond O. Thereby Cn is removed in the form of Cn minus. Finally, we are coming up with what? The corresponding alpha hydroxy ketone or not? So Cn minus is used in the reaction at the initial step. But by the ending, what is happening? The Cl minus is removed or not? That's why it is acting as a catalyst in this particular transformation. So in this way, we can convert the aromatic aldehydes into the corresponding benzene. Let's see the applications. Before seeing the application, we need to understand how to write the product in an easy way. See this one. Here we have two aromatic aldehydes or not. <coughs> containing two pH groups and two CHO groups. But in case of the product, what we are observing? Two phenyl links are present. We have added two carbons. One carbon will be the ketonic carbon. The second carbon must be containing OH. In this way, you need to remember the product formation. See this. Here we have two aromatic aldehydes. Right? The phenyl group is substituted with what? Methoxy group. That's why in the product what happens, we are going to have two phenyl groups containing methoxy group. Phenyl group methoxy, phenyl group methoxy. In between, we need to insert two carbon atoms. One should be having ketonic function, another should be having OH function. In the next application, here we have aromatic aldehyde, furfural. Two moles are reacting. That's why what happens, we are going to have two moieties in the product and two carbon atoms. Two moieties in the product and two carbon. One carbon with C double bond O, another carbon with OH. So in this way, we can simply write the products by using benzoin condensation. Let's see the extension of this particular benzoin condensation. The continuation part is what? Crossed benzoin condensation. The name itself indicate crossed. Here what we have written? Self-condensation of aromatic aldehydes. It means that what? Similar kind of aromatic aldehydes are involving in the condensation reaction to form the benzoin. Suppose, if you have different aromatic aldehydes, what will happen? What kind of products we will get? That is commonly called as what? Crossed benzoin condensation reaction. Let us take the example AR-CHO AR2CHO. Here these two aromatic aldehydes are present. If these two aromatic aldehydes are undergo condensation by using the cyanide ion catalyst, what will happen? Initially what happens? As per the benzoin condensation, self-condensation products will be formed. In the self-condensation what happens? Whatever the first molecule you have taken, these two molecules combined together to produce a single product. See this one, ARCHO, AR dash, CHOH, C double bond O, AR dash. So, two moles of the first compound we have taken, that is the self condensation product. In case of second moiety, second reactant, if you take two moles of the second reactant, what will happen? AR2, AR2, C double bond O, CHOH. <coughs> so, this is the first self condensation product of the reactant one. This is the Self-condensation product of the reactant 2. Now there is a possibility the condensation between two aldehydes. See this one. In the first case, what is happening? AR1, AR2, CHOH, C double bond. We can exchange these two also. Thereby what happens? AR2, AR1, C double bond, o, CHOH. It means what we are observing during the cross benzoin condensation, we are getting four products. Four products means uh, these are the mixture of products or not. That's why it is sometimes called as mixed condensation reaction. In the mixed condensation, what is the difficulty? The separation of all the four compounds is the difficult process. That's why the researchers had given a particular transformation that is commonly called as silyl benzoin condensation. This is the modification of cross benzoin condensation. In case of the cross benzoin condensation, we are getting the mixture of products or not. 
the separation is very difficult in order to get a particular moiety particular compound single compound what should we do we are going to have a modification commonly called as silyl benzoyl condensation means that what one of the aldehyde is going to have the silyl moiety silane moiety thereby whatever the product you will get the product is the only single product so let's see this particular silyl benzoyl condensation here what the people are saying first we have one aromatic aldehyde the second one is acyl silane here we should not take the aldehyde we need to take the derivative of the aldehyde one of the hydrogen is replaced with what triethyl silyl moiety et means ethyl group triethyl silyl moiety is connected to what acyl group that's why it is commonly called as acyl silane so in this particular condensation what we are saying the condensation reaction between an aromatic aldehyde and a particular acyl silane it produces a single alpha hydroxy aromatic ketone that is commonly called as silyl benzoyl condensation the mechanism is very much similar to the simple benzoyl condensation let's see how can we transform the reactants into the corresponding product in this particular mechanism initially we are going to take the silyl derivative we have two uh, derivatives are not one is the aldehyde and the other one is the acyl silane first take the acyl silane see this one acyl silane we have taken the carbonyl group is present we have used cyanide as a catalyst right the cn minus is a good nucleophile it is going to attach at the carbonyl carbon thereby these pi bonding electrons move towards oxygen oxygen will take negative charge thereby what we are getting r dash co minus cn and si et here what is happening the delocalization of the negative charge with the cyanide ion will take place see this one the c minus is involving in the delocalization thereby what is happening we are going to create minus charge on the nitrogen see this r dash c o s i e t 3 double bond double bond and n minus now we have second aldehyde or not the second reactant aldehyde this aldehyde is going to have the interaction with this particular anion so in the anion what is happening see this one n minus again forming the c triple bond these pi bonding electrons move towards this carbon that's why this carbon will take minus charge or not this minus charge is going to attack on the carbonyl carbon of the aldehyde thereby what happens we will come up with the o minus how can we write this one r dash c o s i e t 3 c n c o minus and h here what happens the transformation of silyl group takes place between two oxygen atoms this one from this oxygen these bonding electrons move towards the oxygen this si plus et3 move towards this o minus thereby what we are getting r dash c o minus c n o si et3 hr in the final step what is happening we are removing the c n minus by forming the c double bond o see this we are coming up with what alpha silyl oxy ketone the alpha silyl oxy ketone subjected to the hydrolysis phenomena thereby we will come up with the final product this particular silyl benzoyl condensation concept was given by the lingu l i n g h u and johnson so this is all about your benzoyl condensation